Welcome to Mikon's Hardware. I have already made a video how to unlock Turbo Boost on Xeon E5 V3 CPUs on Chinese X99 motherboards. The previous method consists of two main steps. First you have to remove original Intel microcodes for the CPUs from the BIOS, and the next step is to manually install custom EFI driver which cheats on the CPU and forces CPU cores to Turbo Boost to the maximum possible frequency at the same time. The problem with this method is that the manual installation of EFI driver is not really stable. Windows is able to remove this driver with major updates, also PC crash may lead to the EFI driver removal, and then you have to manually reinstall the driver again. It's also not very clear how to use this method with other operating systems than Windows, for example if you want to turbo boost unlock your Xeon E5 V3 on a Linux operating system. That's why in this video I'm going to tell you how to unlock Turbo Boost on your Xeon E5 V3 CPU using the BIOS only. So instead of the manual EFI driver installation on the system level, the driver will be injected into the BIOS itself. Then you can flash your BIOS to the motherboard and Turbo Boost is unlocked once and forever. It works on Windows, Linux and any other operating system. As usual, I'm not responsible for any consequences of this guide, Use it at your own risk, and you are completely and fully responsible for everything you do with your hardware. You can use my guide as a reference, but whatever you do, whatever you apply to your motherboard, to your BIOS, is completely and absolutely only up to you. So if you understand the risk and still wish to proceed, then follow the guide. As a preparation for Turbo Boost Unlock, first you need to make sure that your CPU is actually supporting Turbo Boost Unlock. I have got quite a few questions about engineering samples and qualification samples of Xeon E5 V4 CPUs which are available on AliExpress. Unfortunately, Turbo Boost Unlock with these CPUs is not possible. Moreover, most of these CPUs are not even compatible with Chinese X99 motherboards. I have talked to some AliExpress sellers and they told me that all engineering samples with a step in zero are not compatible with the Chinese X99 motherboards. Engineering samples with a step in 1 can be compatible but also may not be functioning correctly. To be sure that your CPU will be compatible with Chinese X99 motherboards and that you will be able to unlock Turbo Boost on all CPU cores, you need to pick a CPU with a step in 2. To validate your CPU stepping, you can use CPU-Z application and take a look at the step in section. Personally, I have tested Turbo Boost Unlock on all Chinese X99 motherboards I have tested, as well as MSI X99A SLI Plus motherboard. This shall also work on any other X99 motherboard if you have ability to flash customized BIOS. Some of the pre-built systems such as HP or Dell, they have BIOS right protection and you might not be able to overcome this protection. Still, if you are able to override BIOS on your motherboard, it shall work. Unlike previous guide, this guide is operating system independent. Previous guide was only compatible with Windows 10 installed in EFI mode. This guide you can use for any kind of operating systems, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, Linux, Proxmox or any other system. This guide does everything in the BIOS. Link to download all required files for this guide will be in the video description. Download, unblock and unzip the required archive with all the files and then you can start unlocking Turbo Boost on your Chinese X99 or any other motherboard. First we need to have a dump of your existing BIOS to work with. For this, open command line tool with administrator and navigate to the FPT folder of the unpacked archive. Once there, you can write dump.bat and click enter. This will create two files x99rom and x99.rom.back. x99rom is to modify the BIOS and x99rom.back is to have a backup of your original BIOS in case of something goes wrong. If for some reason FPT operation fails and you are not able to get your x99.rom file, this means you have locked BIOS and FPT is not able to produce a backup of your BIOS. In this case you shall use some other application to read and write your BIOS. For example, Afu Win. Once you have got backup of your BIOS, start to modify it. The first step is the same as with the previous guide. CPU patch with ID 06F2 has to be removed. For this, launch mmtool_a5.exe application, 
open your x99.rom file, navigate to the CPU patch tab, select each 06F2 file and delete this patch. In most cases Chinese x99 motherboards have just one 06F2 patch, but sometimes it happens that there are two or three of those. If you see more than one patch with ID 06F2, you have to remove all of them. Once you have removed 06F2 CPU patches, save the image and close MMTool application. Now it's time to inject Turbo Boost Unlock driver into the BIOS. To do this, launch uefitool.exe and select your x99 ROM file. Once the file is opened, open your BIOS region section and navigate to the volume where you see a lot of DXE drivers. Scroll to the last DXE driver, right-click on it and select Insert After. File selection dialog will show up and here you have to select an FFS driver which you wish to inject into your BIOS. In the downloaded archive there is a bunch of different EFI and FFS drivers for single socket and dual socket motherboards, as well as with a different range of undervolting for a CPU core and CPU memory controller. Find desired FFS file and inject it. In most cases Xeon E5 2600V3 can work with at least minus 20 millivolts of set for CPU voltage and memory controller voltage. But if you want to be on the safe side, pick the default driver without undervolting. Once the desired FFS driver has been injected into your BIOS, save the changes and exit UEFI tool application. Now we have Turbo Boost Unlock driver injected into the BIOS. The next thing to do is to disable CPU C3 and C6 states. If you keep these settings enabled, your system will hand and lock randomly. To disable C3 and C6 states, open amibcp5.exe application, load x99.rom file, find CPU C3 report and CPU C6 report settings, then disable them and save the changes. This is the last modification you have to do for your BIOS file to unlock Turbo Boost. The next step would be to write the file to the BIOS of your motherboard. If you have followed the guide and if you have made all the changes to the BIOS into the x99.rom file, you can simply open command line as administrator, navigate to the FPT folder of the downloaded and unpacked archive, after that execute flush.bat. This will write x99.rom file to your motherboard. Wait until you see FPT operation passed green title in your console window, restart your computer and go straight into the BIOS. In the BIOS, restore default settings, save changes and reboot. That's all you have to do. Now you have a BIOS which has Turbo Boost Unlock. Load into your system and validate that Turbo Boost Unlock is actually working. To do that, you can use HW Monitor, CPUs Out and Task Manager. Simply open CPU Z and Task Manager, navigate to the CPU Z benchmark tab, start a benchmark or a stress test, and monitor CPU frequency in your Task Manager. All CPU cores should turbo boost up to the maximum CPU frequency. Now it's time to enjoy some extra free performance of your Xeon E5 V3 CPU. Leave me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share your experience. Which motherboard, which CPU you have used, and what kind of result you have got. Links to the websites where I have got all the required information will be provided in the video description. Extra thank you to one of my subscribers who has shared quite a bit of required information with me through comments on my blog post page for Turbo Boost Unlock. If you are lazy and do not want to do Turbo Boost Unlock yourself, I provide you a bunch of different biases to download and flush straight to your motherboard and enjoy Turbo Boost Unlock for free. Follow the link in the video description. There you will be able to download BIOSes with Turbo Boost Unlock for Huanan x 99 tf Huanan x 99 f 8 Jinsha x 99 Dual and Machinist X99Z motherboards. Each BIOS is available with the stock voltages and minus 20 mV offset. For your information, Huanan x 99 f 8 BIOS is compatible with Huanan x 99 8 m Klisre x 99 d 8 Klisre X99D4 and Tinsha X99D4 motherboards. Still, as usual, use these biases at your own risk. Chinese manufacturers may change their motherboard at any moment of time and the bias I provide here might not be compatible with your particular motherboard. If you do not want to risk, prepare your bias modification yourself. 
For now, that's all I have for you. I hope you have enjoyed it. I hope you have found it useful. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Goodbye.